Good morning. And the reason I'm saying good morning is this is my morning routine that's been a little bit adjusted. If you are experiencing some tightness in your skin and feel a little dry, feeling a little dehydrated as the weather changes, uh, you might want to sit right next to me because I'm going through something myself. Some of it could be my retinol product, but I think a lot of it is the weather. So I've changed my morning routine just a little bit. I already have a lot going on in the morning and to add more to it could be not so good for putting on my makeup and I don't want any balling or pilling action. So it's just a couple of really slight changes I found have really made a big difference in my skincare over the past few days and I wanted to share them with you. Here we go. This is what I wash my face with in the morning, generally speaking. If my skin's a little sensitive, this will sting, but I haven't found anything that I like better than this. It doesn't strip the skin, and it gets just rid of the products that I put on the night before, any sweat, any old skin, boom. While the face is still moist, so I pat my face dry, but there's still some moisture, and then I go in with my essence. This is from Neogen, in the palms. And I just keep on patting it until it's mostly absorbed. The idea behind Essence is it should be packed with goodness for your skin. Korean skincare can be very confusing. Essence and toner, what's the difference? Generally speaking, very generally, consider an essence to be kind of like a serum. It has a lot of good ingredients with it, where toner is a softening treatment and prepares your skin for what's next. I'm going to do it a little bit differently. I put this on before it dries. I want to go in with my most important serum, my Maylove C. And I want to do that before the essence is fully evaporated because I want that essence to kind of pull everything in. If your skin is dry as a bone, it's not going to take anything in. It's like a desert floor. And then you get a huge storm and instead of the desert floor absorbing it, it just washes away. So you soften a little bit with the essence. Then I put on my C and this is the step that I added. I adore this toner and I used it for maybe a year non-stop and then I started looking around at other stuff. Now that it's really dry again, I'm bringing it back into the fold. I love the way it smells, but what is best about this is very hydrating and moisturizing. It's quite viscous and I have tried several others. I have a lot of toners. I have one by Claire's and I have two or three um, by another company that I will write down below because I can't remember, but this is the most viscous, the most cushiony. And this is the first change that I make. So I've kind of sandwiched my vitamin C. My next step hasn't changed. I just do the Hylamide Sub-Q Age, I believe it's called. Put it down below. The Stratia. This is DMAE and Niacinamide. One pump, mix them together. The Hyaluronide has peptides, which is good for hydration and moisturization and might be good for collagen. There's actually, the data doesn't really support that. It's just been in Petri dishes. I think that's called in vitro. Sub-Q age for eyes, I take a teeny, teeny bit I'm not sure if this actually does anything, but I know when I run out and I think, I don't know, should I buy it again? I miss it. Now at this point, you could put a hyaluronic acid in, but again, I don't want to put too many products on. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. This is a Hadalabo moisturizer I got from YesStyle. It's a little too thin, thin for what I want here, 
This is a blueberry lotion from Innisfree, and I take a little bit of each. The Innisfree is a little too thick, the Hot Alabo, a little too thin. It's not watery, but it's a little too thin for what I'm looking for here. And this is my first real moisturization, but it's more hydrating than moisturizing. And of course, the hot, these Hot Alabo products are hyaluronic acid, so I don't really need the serum. Mix those together. Oh, my skin just feels like it's drinking. It's gulp, 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 gulp. Thank you. So the Hot Alabo kind of combines those two things of a hyaluronic acid serum and a moisturizer. Like hyaluronic acid in and of itself is not hydrating. What it does is it attracts moisture. And this lotion has both the hyaluronic acid and the moisture that it wants to pull in. So it's kind of a two-in-one, where serum is just going to have the hyaluronic acid and then you have to put something hydrating on top of it. This kind of gets both. Now I know this sounds strange, but this Laneige Cream Skin, I'm putting on over. And it sounds strange because it's thinner. As you can see, it's watery. But there's oil in this, and I find that the oil is a little bit occlusive, which is my next step. It's locking in the serums I put in and the hydration that I put in. So this is step one of locking it all in. And I wait for this to sink in just a little bit because my next product, I don't want to mix with these. I want it to lock everything in. So I'm just going to move everything around a little bit. My next is the Stratia Liquid Gold. This mimics your skin's barrier, meaning it has all five ceramides, the omega fatty acids, and the cholesterol that your barrier has, and it's in the correct ratio and pH. I take only one pump. And make sure you get your whole face. If you think about it, observation from me. When we start taking care of our skin, we're in our teens, and generally we're oily, because most teens are. So we're always focusing on the T-zone, right through here and through here, because that's the oiliest part. That's where most of our oil glands are. As we get older, we kind of need to think about the opposite. We need to retrain our thinking, because the opposite, which didn't have those oil glands when we were young, are now kind of getting more dry. So be sure not to forget this area of your face. Don't forget any area of your face. All right, after this, I let everything sink in until it's not sticky. So I don't know if you can tell here. I'm looking on the monitor, but I'm so blind. Um, I'm a little sticky after I put on the Stratia. I give this about 10 minutes to sink in, and it will absolutely absorb. When my face isn't sticky anymore, I go in with my final moisturizer. For my final moisturizers, I have two that I go to all the time. One of them is by Andalou, and this is something that I get at Whole Foods, and one of them is Caudalie. The Andalou feels very similar to the Caudalie, but it's more water-based, probably a little bit more hydrating, but at the same time, as I put that on, I can feel the transepidermal evaporation right away. So I put that on, and within three minutes, I'm putting on my sunscreen, which tends to be more occlusive to keep all that goodness in there. The Caudalie is much more emollient, shall we say. Um, and this time of year, I switch over to the Caudalie because it's a little more moisturizing. It's not really hydrating, but I've already put that hydration in. With this one, I don't put on my sunscreen right away. I want this to sink in a, a little bit first because I've had incidents with my foundation where things ball and pill if I don't wait long enough or putting on just my sunscreen starts to ball and pill and then I have to do the whole thing over. I just use the smallest bit of this and stretch it out because it is so emollient. And I'm 
just careful making sure it's everywhere because I'm not piling this on. You don't want to use too much of this product actually because unless your skin just drinks up, and remember all these layers I put on, your skin has to be quite dry to really drink this up if you put too much on. So I'd rather put less on and then I do my eye cream. I just got a new eye cream. I'm not entirely sure if I like it or not, so I don't want to show you guys if I don't want to endorse something that I've only used for a couple of days, but the eye cream goes on now too. And now, because I put on so much emollients with this one, I'm going to wait to do my sunscreen for about 15 minutes. But if I had put on this one, it's more watery, I would go ahead and do my sunscreen just to lock that in and act as my occlusive. And that's it. Those are just a couple of changes I made. I've added one thing. I've sandwiched my vitamin C between my essence and my toner, where normally I would just do my essence and then my vitamin C and then the rest of my serums. Instead of doing a hyaluronic acid and then going th into a lotion like this, I mix this hyaluronic acid lotion with this one together. So that's change number two. And change number three, instead of this more watery moisturizer, I go for something very, very emollient. But I allow this a lot of time to sink in before I go into my sunscreen because I don't want them to misbehave. And that's it. That's just a couple of things I'm doing to relieve my skin of what is this dry, dry weather. What happens in fall and winter for most people in the country. And I hope it was helpful to you. Thank you so much for spending some time with me. I hope you come back again. And in the meantime, I'm wishing you a great day.